Alejandro Rodriguez. What's your middle name? I don't have a middle name. It's just Ruben Rodriguez. You have a middle name? Yeah. Can you add a middle name later? Slap. I, I was going to say Strat. Ruben Strat Rodriguez. Ruben, this um, is the first interview with the newly named Ruben, Ruben Strat, Strat Rodriguez. Rodriguez. The Strat Slayer. <laughs> uh, you can find him on social media <laughs> at Slapdick. Dot com. Slapdick.com. All <laughs> social media outlets. It's on that twit book. Yeah. Uh, no, well, what is your social media? Um, Ruben Rodriguez with two Z's and an underscore. That is it. Ruben underscore Rodriguez. No, Ruben Rodriguez underscore. But Rodriguez with two Z's. Rodriguez with two Z's. Is and that how you actually saw it? Or no? No. It's Rodriguez just one Z. was already taken yeah. with an underscore too? Damn, there's a lot of Ruben Rodriguez out there. I know. Often imitated. Rarely duplicated. Is that the quote? Science. Is that how it goes? Science. Guys. <laughs> science. What do you think about science, Ruben? I know nothing about science except it is hard. And it what are magnets? <laughs> <laughs> science. Uh, magnets. <laughs> do you remember that? No. Uh, there is like the whole insane con posse thing. Do you know ICP? Know nothing about ICP? Well, this is pointless then. Uh, ICP, like rap crew, they got the juggalos and all that. I, I'm not trying to offend you juggalos because they're, they're, they'll fuck you up. Um, you know, I knew some juggalos in high school. They're crazy. Fun people, but yeah. Basically like white weirdos, like family. Have you seen like the, the gathering of the juggalos? No. Dude, you got some Netflix and YouTube material now. Just look up juggalos tonight and you will, you'll have a good time. All right. Yeah, they have a song that's just like magnets. How do they work? I don't even know, but yeah, magnets. Yeah, magnets, bro. Science. That's wild, bro. Yeah, super wild. So, you have a new sick deck, right? Yes. Five <laughs> wide by twenty-two or twenty-one. <laughs> How often are you confused for the other Ruben Rodriguez of AO, who's out of? Is he in Spain? Barcelona? Barcelona. That is Spain. Right? Yes. Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona, Spain. Yeah, so there's two Ro Ruben Rodriguez's. Obviously, there's a lot more because he had to be Ruben Rodriguez double Z underscore for Instagram. So there's like a thousand of them at least. Yep. Um, you guys just keep swimming across. I know. But Trump's going to put an end to that. So, I mean, Dude, I less Ruben. <laughs> that's, a, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's tight. Yes, there'll only be two now. <laughs> yes. But yeah, how often do people think that's your sick deck? Ah. Uh, I've probably been tagged in about 10 Instagram posts. Shit. Yeah. And then I usually tag, tag the other Ruben. Do they ever like catch on? The kids that said it? Yeah. And they end up disappearing on my feed and I'm just like, ah. Oh. oh, they delete the comment? Yeah. They delete the tag? That's yeah. rough. They delete both. I mean. They don't have to shoot you out of there. That's all right. I'll earn my spot one day. I just learned that I uh, spelt my own personal Instagram, like my side one. I'm not even going to shout it out because I don't want you guys to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically where I post old photos, like when I try to be artsy. Uh, that's very bad. But I realized I spelt it wrong, but now I can't change it because it's spelt correctly once it's already taken. So. Oh, shit. so it's even more incognito. You guys will never know. Yeah, see, that's why mine is double Z. I first tried Ruben Rodriguez LL because the other Rodriguez has Ruben Rodriguez L. I was like, oh yeah, Ruben Rodriguez number two. I'm gonna try that. Why'd you try to do LL? Because he has Ruben Rodriguez L. Why L? I don't know. For the L's? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's you an L know, or an like, I. Oh, the L? Yeah, I was just like, I'll just have two. Two I's would be good. It's like Roman numeral. That would confuse people. They're like, is he, true, true. Is he Roman or is he <laughs> Ruben or Mexican? is he Mexican? I don't know. Are you Mexican? Yeah, Mexican-American. Cool. You born here? Yes. That's good. I was going to ask for your green card. <laughs> this is actually a stain. I don't have it. Yeah. You don't have it? Shit. Time to go back across. Fuck. Yeah, that's all right. The fence isn't finished yet. <laughs> I just scooted you across. Oh, well, it's a very special day today, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it your birthday? Mm, yep. Happy birthday, dude. Thank you. Are we getting you a cake or anything cool? I'm not sure. But there's tacos. We should. There's so tacos. They're, I mean, there's tacos. That's the they're Mexican setting up. cake. Yes. They already know. Yes. They thought it was because it's like the, the vault spring, king of spring thing. But no, no, it's, it's my Ruben's birthday. It's birthday, guys. That's good. Tacos. Okay. Tacos. Mm, yummy, yummy. So are you running the Ruben deck? Yeah. That's what's up. I'm yeah. just going to support him. Well, us. also, it's your you Support team, us, right? yeah. And AO. I mean, everybody's always like... Get Plus, off of AO and stuff. I'm just like, what? 
like the deck like why are you writing that deck i'm just oh because like, it wasn't five yeah yeah now they got five now they're with it, it yeah now they got now. five and everybody's just like shit that deck's tight i'm seeing it everywhere <laughs> yeah like i think half the people at the vault have it or i mean about the only person i see on ao not running it right now is uh badger clip he's probably gonna be on it soon yeah i just assume he's tight i think he's still like, has stealth three I thought he was on the Enzo. Last clip I saw was on the Enzo, but I mean, he releases a lot of footy. Shout out to Badger Clip. What's up? Bad. Badger's so, anyone, wild. Anyone because... else getting you hyped on shredding? Um, Tyler it... Bradley. Tyler Bradley? Tyler Bradley is my homie. He's a slap. He's Dude, and, King uh, Slap. Shout out Tyler. to Tyler and Andrew. They're Andrew, the two people that... Andrew Zamora. Zamora. Yeah, it's not Andrew Zamora. It's Andrew Zamoron. <laughs> He's a moron. You still call him Zamoron every now. He you loves it. Yeah. Or Andrew slap dick moron. He adores no. it. But um, Tyler and Andrew are the two people that get me really hyped, and they are the two people that help me ex uh, spread out the word slap dick. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't down. Like it first started in Vegas, I think, right? And started uh, at Craig Ranch. I called started, Tyler a <laughs> slap dick, and he was like, "What? what the, where did where did the inspiration for slap dick come? Because we heard in our last interview, slap dick is taking for a nice storm." I have no idea. I was just like, "In the moment?" I was like, "Cause this moron kept snaking me," and I was like, "You dick!" And then I was just like, "Oh, I ought to slap you right now." And then I was filming Tyler for an Insta clip, and I was just like. Slapped it, <laughs> and I was just like Tyler Landy you slapped it, and he just started Slap. cracking up. <laughs> no, that's a good one. It was at first I was just like, what the fuck are these idiots doing? <laughs> and then, you know, if you hear it enough, eventually you can't help but say mm -hmm. it. It's a great word. That's a great two words. I had to help you with the science there. <laughs> and magnets. <laughs> magnets. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, I had them opposing oh, poles right there, so they repelled way not. Same yeah, poles. but back to who get me hyped, Zamora. So, do you get hyped because you get to see him ride in person, or just their video parts, or all around? Um, Andrew, I ride with like on a day to day basis because I go to school with him. And oh, really? Yeah. He's. Oh, you guys live right by each other. Yeah, I That's live like four sick. blocks away from. Who got who in a scooter? We didn't know that both of us scootered until one time that we met each other both on scooters. So you guys were friends prior to scootering? Yeah, because my family and his go dirt bike riding together. And uh, there was something happening in my house. And I, I usually rode my brother's Ultra Pro. Yeah. And he, Andrew and his brother were coming over and he showed up on a scooter. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I thought I was the only person. What was he on? He was on an Ultra Pro, but he had like, oh man. Shout out to Razor for stepping it up. That yeah, Ultra he had Pro. like. Game changer. I'm there. not even gonna lie, he probably had like 26 high bars. Back then? Yeah. But with like. what? It was an like, Ultra Pro deck with like the clear wheels and. It's like but the, what bars? Razor bars. Oh yeah, they did come, the XL The one, XL bars, came yeah. Came with some big bars. Those. And back in the day, we're like, this is stupid. This is just for Big Ron. Yeah. And now, like, if you got those bars, you bet, all right. Yeah, I'm totally going to run these uncut. So, I don't know who got who into it, but, I mean, once we it saw It was, like, other, simultaneous. Yeah, we were magnets, and we just got oh brought together. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. science. We got it's brought together. It's all tied together. The and universe is crazy. <laughs> God is good. Yes. From there, we just, like, like hit each other up, and we just started riding it. That's good. Because, yeah. I mean, if you don't have a homie that rides, like, riding, riding mm -hmm. is kind of weak. Yeah. yeah. Unless you, like, unless you, like, have those biker homies that are, like, pushing you to go farther, then it's kind of tough. But, yeah. I mean, me and Andrew are pretty hyped and surprised that we got it this far. Like, That's cool. We used to just ride around the block and just chill. And now we're, like, throwing bangers and, like, almost coming God. out of video yeah, parts. God damn, you guys are throwing bangers. <sighs> Like, you guys get me hyped to not ride because it's so sick. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to watch the demo. Like, this is sick. Andrew lands his tricks. I don't. It's hard. <laughs> and you land it. You got to work for him. I have to work for him, too. I don't know how these fools bump him out. Yeah, Cooper, too. Cooper's Cooper a, does. Cooper gets his shit right away, too. I don't know how. I don't know. So, like, yeah, Cooper Clark. Big shout out to Cooper that Cooper Clark. He gets big me hyped shout out. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, he got me hyped to go back to the Any rail. park riders? Park riders. Tristan Anderman. Hey, damn, he's tall, man. He's the homie. I met Dude. him at Woodward. That was the first time you met him? Yeah. He's a rad, right? Him and... I'm going to hopefully get him on one of these, but he's back in Arizona. Yeah, shout out to Tristan Anderman. He's the homie. He's a day one fool. He's a, he's a grape <laughs> slushy through and through. Word. So, um, I'm not sure who How's else. the rap game treating you? Rap game? Yeah, I heard you're in the rap game. Dude, it's like... I've been trying to come out with this album for like two months it's now. It's hard, dude. It's hard. And like, it's not cooperating to me because I have to come out with... I was originally supposed to drop a part today, by the way. But you? yeah, what uh, happened? I'm surprised no one has asked me about it. But have you been hyping it up on Instagram? Right yeah, now? I hyped it up like two times, <laughs> bro. Uh, I, I dropped like a 15 gonna... second like part with it, and then a little teaser. Like even John Devon was like, "I'm hyped for this," and he hasn't told me anything. And he's about seen it. you in person today. Yeah, I we know. just get overexposure in the media. There's just so much going yeah. on. But, like I know in that that. TGE video was coming out a month or two ago. Like people were like, "What's well, supposed to be out?" I was like, "What's well, supposed to be out?" They're like the video, they said it was dropping today. I was like, "Ah." Oh. You yeah, were. I just hop on Instagram and like a couple videos. Do you have the sixty-second videos yet? Nope. Insta. Is it a follower count that gets the sixty seconds, or do you even know? I'm not sure. I don't I, know how it I'm works. I'm kind of. I'm hyped on that, but also unhyped because so much footy just gets thrown off on Instagram and forgotten. Like, it's definitely a great way to get noticed, but mm -hmm. I've seen a couple of kids, or I don't know about kids, like maybe young adults, yeah. like 18, 19, they put out really fucking solid Instagram clips, <laughs> and then their one or two minute video comes out, and I'm like, this is shit. Yeah, I know. Danny Roberts, I don't know if That you might know. be him. Does he, he like right flip to ice pick? I don't know. I don't know. There's some kid... I saw a bright flip to ice pick in his Instagram videos, and then I saw that he dropped a YouTube video and I watched it, and I was not hyped at all doing it. Sorry, that kid. But constructive criticism. I'm not saying fuck you. I'm saying you slap. Step, <laughs> step your fucking game up. There's a difference. Yeah. I'm doing these not to put people down, but to put people up. You use those tricks for an edit, not for Insta clips. Yeah, the Insta clips. It's like first tries. Yeah, usually just do like weird like tricks that I can easily do for Instagram and all the real bangers are for my edit. See the bummer for me is I'm too old for this. Those aren't my bangers. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh that was a really creative thing. I like, can't wait to see your video. Like that's all my video is gonna be. <laughs> that's great. Dude. I'm sitting on like three year old footy. Oh, so God. it's all terrible. You should release yeah. it. I think I'm gonna release it. You should but premiere it, it at private. the ball. I should premiere it at the ball. <laughs> Hey guys, watch this super old footage where I push Mongo in some of it. You should have been full length. Well, who's full length? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god. Yeah, I so forgot. so I work at Woodward. <laughs> I did some promoting for Daily Grind. If I have time, I'm going to keep doing it. Sorry, Jamie. Life is tough. Uh, got the grape slushies thing going, scootering. I, don't, I forgot where to count. Work at the vault and ride for Scooter Zone. Dude. Work. I, I just like scootering, dude. I like to get involved in all of it. Yeah, scootering. Do you hear about that Wes Kramer thing that's been blowing up on Instagram I lately? J I saw it yesterday, and my favorite one was, uh, have you seen those one where it's like this random guy roasting people and he can't control his laughter? <laughs> <laughs> and it like shows some curly fries. Did yeah. you see that one? That one was good. So is that the full video where he's just like, like the 15 second Instagram thing on DC shoes? Is that the whole video? Is there I like think I never really like followed the link or anything, but he was just like, we have to eradicate all scooters from skate parks and then Will Ferrell pops up. <laughs> he's just like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> That's yeah. not even possible. And that was terrible. That's just been blowing up and it's crazy. Everybody's just like, screw DC. Yeah, I want to go. You actually reminded me because I, I already forgot because, I mean, just there's so much media. Yeah. More, I've already forgotten about it, but you've reminded me. I want to go to Goodwill, try to try to cop some DC shoes, just make a sacrifice to them. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, uh, you're, not, you're not even wearing it. Do you red for elites or no? Just yeah. AL. Just AO and the vault. AO and the vault? Word. Cool. It's That's a good combination. Up. Those, those, are, are, good. those <laughs> are good magnets. Those are good <laughs> science magnets right there. Yes. Science. That's good. 
Um, so you're rapping, right? No. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna rap. I can't rap. I can't rap. Hey, slap. Hey, slap. Hey, I can't. I can't get in the groove right now. Come on, now. like two bars. Two bars. Let's go. Oh, look! What I just got a Snapchat from. All right. Oh, the snap. Let's see it. Let's put it up. If my phone. It's probably the 420 snap. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Thanks, other Ruben Rodriguez. Thanks, other Ruben Rodriguez. Is that what you're saying to him? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, other. Yeah, I don't I don't back that they call them R Rod on the side of the deck. Word. It, word? You don't back also, or you just like word? No, because that, I don't know. It's That's not that I don't too, back. Too heavy cop. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, I'm cool with it. I have like. I'm not gonna boycott the deck at all. Like no, I'm. That's pretty. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be my next deck because right now I'm supporting TSI. Word. Shout out to the day ones out there. Yeah, I never even rode an Ultra Pro because I went straight from Pro Model. Really? To TSI. Yeah, bought it off of eBay. That's crazy. Uh, dude, dude I went from like a Ultra Pro to an MGP to a Phoenix deck, and then it was an Ethic, and then I went straight to AO, and I've had like four AO decks since then. I snapped an ethic deck in the middle, a Lin one, like straight really? in the middle, like yeah. Snapped it? Did it banana first, or just straight? I, I think it bananaed like a little, and the crack was already there, so I was like, that's when I was getting to board back lips a lot. So I was just like, mm -mm -mm, like constantly, and it just, man. Did it happen on a board back lip? On a flat though. I was doing board back lip, double whip, and I just like slammed the bottom, like the back wheel, and it just. I was just like fell on my ass. I was like, "Fuck!" That's crazy, because that could have been like a legendary clip if you were hitting like a ten stair rail Dude, and the that board straight sucked. Oh no! You slapped your dick on the rail. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Slap my dick on the rail. Dude, that trick is easy. I don't know why people have so much. What? Board back lips. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking slapping your dick. <laughs> no, no. Board back lip. I I struggle a little bit with it, but they don't look good. Like I can do it, but I don't look steezy at all. I'm like, <laughs> like the last little bit, like, kiss the rail. Dude, it's it's. Weird. I zeech. You zeech. Yeah. So are you doing real like, like ninety degree, ninety degree, or perpendicular science? <laughs> well, right. Science, yes. So I'm gonna start critiquing you now. I'm gonna, when your video comes out, I better, not, for, I better uh, not see one zeech in there, otherwise I'm back pro. Unless I jump back into a board like I was at. What do you the, mean? Like, like if like, I do board back lip board, then the back lip. Back mm. All right. Who else have you seen try that on a double kink? On uh, a double kink? Because that's pretty hard. Yeah. No, no one knows how hard that was hard. except for me. Do you get it? No. No, it's come it, back and get it. No, I'm gonna get it on a way bigger double key consent. Yeah, we were riding, because I guess now they're never gonna know the story. Or we'll probably have some attempts in it. Yeah, we went on a vault tour. Is that two weekends ago? And uh, beautiful, mellow double kink rail. Cooper hit it and called it baby's first double kink, so mm -hmm. it was a good way. And he murdered it. Yeah. Ruben was trying some slap dickery on there, just pop, pop, pop. And then Zamoron was being a moron and landing everything it was yeah. pretty lame. I heard Keep an eye out. So are they, they are they saving that for? <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Monster. Oh my god. Bananas. No. Nah, with the <laughs> side of avocados. Oh my god, my diet's awesome. <laughs> uh, those clips? But, yeah, are they saving it for Zamora's part, or is it just gonna be in the vault thing? I have no idea what's going on with Zamora's part or like any of the vault videos. I'm just trying to focus on my video, but that's been hard lately. So I can't mind anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let me know if you ever need help filming there. Because otherwise, I just sit home and play video games. Um, I usually film with Shelby because she usually has 4K, and that's when we meet up with Tyler. Yeah. So when we can magnet to Tyler, good... and he shows us the spots. He, uh, I board back up some blue rail at Norco High School. You know, uh, Eric Fincha's banger for his till two part? 
now I'd have to watch it again. I have a terrible memory with that kind of stuff. I'll like watch a part and be like super fucking hyped on it and maybe like remember one trick if it's like my kind of trick. Like if, oh, yeah. if anyone does this big old steezy turn down, like, yeah, dude, did you see that turn down at 45 seconds? Yeah, dude, that's exactly like that. how I am. <laughs> People are like, oh, his banger from that part. Like when I was just talking to, to Aaron, he was talking about uh, a spot that they were riding. Like, you should know it. It's in like mm-hmm. a ton of video parts. I'm like, I'd know it if I saw it. But mm-hmm. off the top of my head, I just don't store that. Yeah, that's much. how I am. Like, I can see like the most craziest part, but if you do a boardwalk lift, I'm like super hot. Because that's your shit. Yeah, that's dude, I own that trick. Except for Elliot. Elliot got me into that trick. And then, did you ever run the Epsilon? No. Yeah. That was my favorite deck. Really. Yeah. Like if they made a five inch epsilon, <laughs> like I almost I almost want to run one on like the spare scoot. I remember I had the rubber caps on the bottom, and I was always like, oh, that'd probably be good for sliding. But I never got into it until plastic, the stealth came rubber. out. Oh, it was plastic. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, like from the rollerblade background. Yeah. Of sunshine, they basically made a sole frame for okay. a scooter, and I would literally grind anything. And everything like mm-hmm. unwaxed parking blocks just mob at them just, mm-hmm. that's you how I started keep sliding. exactly dude like <laughs> you hit a 24 rail you're catching some speed and just <laughs> get to the floor dude you know what I don't know I should get another one and hit the biggest double firecracker ever like just mob at like a 30 stair cause it's got the the grind plant in the bottom so just like bar in from 10 feet away and just <laughs> that's it dude hey yo let me know I'm gonna just film the biggest double fire. That would be gnarly. <laughs> That'd, be, That'd gnarly. be worth it in the clip. But yeah, that's theoretically how Elliot and all them got so good at rails, is because the stability of that deck on rails is amazing. Yeah. And like you never catch an edge. Mm-mm. And I definitely got way better at lip tricks and quarters. I still was a rail pussy back then, but <laughs> but like I got way better. Uh, lip tricks. Thanks for that deck. So good yeah. deck. Shout out to Ao. Yeah. So dude, Ao. I gotta like some people hate that it's the rollerblade background. If you didn't know, sorry, I just pull your bubble. Ao, it's from love. Uh, but a lot of people are like, oh fuck that shit. Like, right around all that. But dude, I think Ao gives the most back to the community. Like they support a ton of events. They've supported me. Like I've gotten parts from. I don't even run ride for them. Uh, you ride for them. A ton of really tight people ride for them, and like they hook the industry back up. Like, yeah, you see are, any sponsor for an event, and AO is probably yeah. one of those sponsors. So prizes there, legit people in the scene. Yeah, they get the hook up, and like, I don't know any other company that does it that big. No, dude, I'm pretty hyped I'm on AO. Yeah, like it's maybe there's wild. some other companies out there that uh, are right around and put back into the scene that way. But I mean, I can't think of anyone who hands on helps out more yeah. of the community. Word, word. So AO, you're at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How long have you been with AO? Um, probably about four months now. That's it. Mm-hmm. So like right when I met you, you that was like right when you got on AO. I got on AO. Oh, I started like get in touch with AO two weeks after the SD Jam, because Rudy saw me doing the board back lift on the 18, so he was like, "Bro, that's crazy!" And I was like, yes. "Rudy's the man too." Rudy's that was tight. a really good Rudy impression too. <laughs> Bro, Bro. crazy. <laughs> <Miss Bang. laughs> he always does that. I'm just like, Yo, yeah, what is bro. the fucking unstand? I have no idea. I got man. exposed to the unstand. Uh, Woodward was Zig Short, Corey, and two random hype men. I think it was like the fellow rappers with Zig <laughs> or something. And they just ran out like, understand, understand. So I thought it was like their rap group or something like that. Man, I don't even know, but the word is so catchy and it's just like. It's like slapped it. It's like, understand. <laughs> understand. <laughs> yeah, it stayed in a, a tone of voice. It's like, understand. Understand. <laughs> 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 I'm always like, do you understand? Yeah. And they're like, no, I understand. I was like, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. 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 I'm too white for it. Shout out to Rudy. Yeah. He got me on AO. Thank you very much. Rudy, He's been Rudy's me. key, dude. Come on from skateboarding into that. Do you know how that happened? He kills. Dude, I need to get Rudy on that. 
Dude, Rudy is so Next time he's in the States, Rudy is over in yeah. Barcy, right? Yeah. What's he doing in, do you guys have a warehouse there, or is that where production is? I think he's just with B. Clit and Tanner Wilson, just, I, I know they just released a Seven Days in Barcelona video. But, doesn't Rudy live there? Yeah, I think he has an apartment there, I'm not so sure. Does he live there to live there, or is it AO related? I'm not sure. Okay, that's cool. Alright, Rudy. <laughs> You're not gonna see this, but I'm gonna hit you up anyway. <laughs> yeah, dude, like 300 people are gonna see this video, so expect your, expect your fan base to grow. Dude, I don't even know if I have fans, I just have friends. And just that's like, dude, that's it. <laughs> or the fans are friends, or friends are fans, but I don't know, but. That's the real science right there. When your friends are fans and your fans are friends, dude. I think it sounds better to say your fans are your friends because your friends support you the most. Yeah, but if you have friends that aren't fans, then they aren't your friends. Then they're slap dicks. Like, I I sometimes struggle with it. Like, if you like, let's say there's just like a flat jam right here, and you win, I'm always like, damn, like I wanted to win, mm -hmm. but yeah, like keep that in. Like, dude, you won. Like, be a hype for that. You, you can't. There's enough to go around for everyone. Like I heard, uh, like just some. I can't even name drop, but they're they're kind of like mad at a homie, like not like day one yeah. anything like that, but because they landed a sponsorship deal and they're like, shit, I was trying to get that done. Like, but I'm like, why? Like, you'll get yours eventually, man. Don't be like support Everybody your friend. Everybody has their own spotlight. Yeah. Everybody has their own time. It's just like if your friend like like gets it before you that's chill you're gonna have your time you're probably gonna get even more just i mean it's gonna come to you sooner yeah later. you're not gonna get yours if you're out there talking shit yeah and if if it's no. your friend too you should do that there's enough to go around yeah that's crazy that mentality yeah it's pretty screwed up yeah life can be pretty screwed up bro it's nuts um what are you gonna get on your tacos today your birthday tacos Everything? Carne asada. Ooh, I'm a carne fan. Cilantro. Cilantro. Some onion. I don't really eat onion. Do you do the radish? No. No? What's up with that? Every Mexican place I go to, they're like, radishes go lower. I don't know. I don't eat radishes. I've never really I like tried throw them on there just because if I spend a buck fifty for a taco this big, I'm going to throw everything I can <laughs> in there and try to, <laughs> try to fill this up. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure, it just, dude, it feels weird, I don't know, it's just like, is it the event, or is it my birthday? Magnets. But, <laughs> it's it's fucking know. one, dude. It's, it's pretty tight that this event happened to land on my birthday. Yeah. It's pretty chill. It's been a good day so far, I got a new laptop, got a new Fiji Polaroid, shout out to my girlfriend Brianna, she's right there. Hey, you hey, guys, hey. Hey. what's up? That's good. <laughs> So we're gonna expect some sweet artsy, mm -hmm. sweet artsy photos, yeah. So how are you gonna get your sweet artsy photos up on Instagram now? Yeah, you take your thirty-five millimeter film and then just take a picture of it with your camera yeah. on your phone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna try and get. Oh it. shit! <laughs> how do people do that? I don't know. You must maybe scan it. Probably like you a, a scan or something. You got a scanner on the vault. You scan your thirty-five mil. You have to get it. I don't know where you're gonna take it to get it, uh, fucking developed. I've developed film once and it was a hassle. Like in the red room, the dark room. Oh, it was really? Cool. Are you just tripping ass? So yeah, dark. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, all Wiggle the, the acid. photos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All the ayahuasca I was drinking was already there, but I mean. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's pretty crazy that my birthday's today. I'm pretty hyped. It's been a really good day. How old are you now? 17. So you're still a baby. So you're 17 and you have a tattoo? Yes. Where'd you get it done? My friend's house. Oh, so it's an under the table. Did he wear gloves? Yes. Cool. That's yeah. good. I didn't wear gloves when I gave Aaron a tattoo. Damn, we didn't even talk about his tattoo. Oh, Fucking man. Fucking slap dicks, dude. Aaron, get back in here. <laughs> ah, yeah. But yes, let the camera see your tattoo. tattoo. This thing's sick. Yeah, they can even see it because I, I think it's a cut it up already. <laughs> That's good, dude. Yeah. What made you choose that one? I... Alright, this is the whole story behind this tattoo. Um, Zamora, so I'm gonna call him Zamoron throughout this whole video. I'm not even gonna say Zamora. Zamoron was like 
dude, I'm gonna get a tattoo. And I was like, oh, sick of what? And he showed me his, and I was like, oh, damn, that's dope. And then I saw this picture, like, on my Instagram feed of Not But. Do you know who he is? I just recently started seeing that. Yeah, Not But. Where's yeah. he from? Dude, I think he's from Australia. He's from over. Oh. I think. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. Uh, but. He got the had, rabbit thing, right? Yeah, yeah. He had this. Shout out to uh, Not But. Yeah, Not But. I sent him the, the photo of my tattoo, and it's on his Instagram. Yeah, it's hype. But. I sent, uh, I saw it and I was like, oh damn, Zamora, this is tight, you should get this tattooed. And he was like, you should get it tattooed. And I was like, all right. And I was like, not even like holding me back anything. And he was like, oh dude, I'm gonna go get my tattoo like in two days. And I was like, oh sick, I'll back you up. And like, I didn't, like no denial at all through this whole like tour to get the like tattoo. It was just like, all right, straight forward, straight forward. And then- No, no reservation. No. You never once like, well, I don't know if they should. No. That's sick. That's how you know you're gonna love it forever. I was just like, all right, let's go for it. And then I ended up getting it and I love it. It's Did you tight. get, like, Andrew got it done by the same guy? Yeah, Andrew That's went cool. first and then I went second. What's his? Andrew got uh, a Green Reaper doing a toboggan. Yeah. Very sick. Oh, you yeah. want. <laughs> it's nap time. That's rad. Another down for lifer. Word. Let's see. You know, you had like the Proto Star on the cap. That's a popular one. Oh, yeah, Walter has that. We got. No, I'm probably. Seen the Proto Star on the elbow? No, I'm gonna get the vault. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm down like I think I'm not leaving the vault. Walter's the only one that has the vault one. Because he has it like somewhere right here. Yeah, it's like right there. It just fits in. I I'll start about, getting tatted up, but mm-hmm. I just can't bring it. Are Sticker your parents coats, cool? Uh, they, have, they don't nah, know this, about this it. This is what this is. Oh, shit! They How don't do they know? not know? Because I'm good at hiding it. He's always wearing long-ass socks. Like, you come down. I always wear dickies. I don't wear shorts at all. But, I mean, like, at your house? Yeah, I don't wear shorts at you, all. You don't, like, just chill I just chill. In house, and, like, like, sweatpants or dickies or something like that. And I have to. Yeah. And, I mean, it was pretty good because I don't just, like, start wearing pants out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just like... I the, come down wearing one sock, like, this big. Mm, that's the new I have a robe, mom. Style, mom. <laughs> so, well, good thing that no one's going to watch this video now because it's not going to put you on blast. No, yeah. They might. Dude, I don't care. Like, I don't like, care if my parents see it now. I mean, I'm just... Should we go across the street? Isn't that your dad there today? No, that was my dad's friend. Uh, that's, not your, yeah. that's not your dad's truck? So yeah, that's my dad's truck. That's your dad's truck? Yeah. That thing is fucking sick. <laughs> that thing is radical. You know, just cruising like always. If I'm not scooter and I'm cruising. Do you have a vehicle? You guys working on one yet? What's it gonna be? My first one that originally I got was a 1966 Volkswagen bug. But then I got a 19... Oh, did you get rid of that? No, my yeah, I just changed my mind for a bigger Jeep. And my dad's just gonna sell the bug. Yeah, it's cool. Or the, I might buy the bug. No, I don't have money for it. I don't have anything to play with either. I'd like buy it if it was ready at the price of not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a bug and just keep it rusty. Uh, make it a little, like, I don't really care about performance that much and airbag it. Dude, I don't know what about it, but rusty bugs or like rusted cars, it's like, they look so It has good. to be the right car. Yeah. You know, like, rust your Jetta. Yeah, it's pretty sick, dude. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. an older style car like that, dude. Is it a Baja bug or no? No. I like the Baja bugs too. Baja bugs sweet. pretty dope. But if I had one, like solid, old school, like giant hubcap mm-hmm. wheels, <laughs> nothing in it, just little shitty bucket seat. Oh man. And then slam butt on airbags. Because if your ride is fucking slammed in stance and you can't drive it around LA, it's fucking stupid. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bag that shit so it's functional. Where? And then you show up to the car and set that shit on the ground. <laughs> Spot that shit there. But yeah. Science. Just, yeah, that was my dad's truck. So you're getting a Jeep? Yeah. What are you going to do to it? Just Off-road or just like? No, just like have it for what, the road. What year? I'm not sure. Oh, you're still looking for it? Yeah, no, we have it, but I just forgot the year. Like, Is I remember, old? but I just lost my train of thought. Like, no worries, dude. Yeah. I don't know shit about cars. <laughs> Except I'm strongly opinionated on airbags, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm mostly into classic cars. I really don't want a modern car. Even though they're better. Like, Luxurious. Yeah. I mean, if you can get, like, an older car, but put good brakes, suspension, 
and a reliable engine in it, that's that's fucking chill. Yeah. But I mean, like, if you update the motor and you don't fix the brakes or the suspension, you got a death trap right there. Like, that's pretty <laughs> dangerous. Oh man. Dude, like Bluetooth in your car is sweet. I mean, you could do that in an old car too. But my bug, no, no stereo, bro. You hear that shitty engine purr? <laughs> you hear the screws getting wiggled out? <laughs> yeah, you just drive down there like, I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> oh man. I'll yeah. do like metal seats too. Aluminum seats, so you can. Okay. So comfortable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bar wire your seat belts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes! Basil's just gonna be like, I'm a masochist, dude. Oh, man. I should bring Basil over for the next interview. Dude, yes. Basil Leto. Bow wow? Oh. Bow? <laughs> Basil Leto's a homie. You know, Basil Leto, as he's known in the barrio. Yeah. Alright, man. I think that's good. You got anything else you want to chat about? Mm. Shouts out. Ready to shout out? So I want to shout out Andrew Zamora. Because he's been my day one homie. Even though we have our conflicts here and there. Everyone does, dude. He's just... I have you ever punched him. each other? No. How's it going that far? No. Like, my, my number one homie, I stabbed him in the mouth with a knife. Oh, dude, that's on so accident, red. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely on accident. No, but yeah, shout out to Andrew. Um, shout out to AO. Because they're the best company ever. And I'm never going to leave. And shout out to The Vault. Not only because they're my first sponsor, but they're the best shop in SoCal. So just shout out to them. And... Hopefully you guys like my video part that'll be out in a couple months. Sweet. Um, yeah. Andrew. Oh my god, I was gonna call you Andrew Zamoron. Oh. Because you, you said Zamoron. <laughs> Ruben Rodriguez in the house. Find him. Ruben Rodriguez, two Z's, then an underscore. Uh, make sure. Rad dude. All that fun stuff. But yeah, thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate Shred, it. Stretch. Stretch Slayer right here. Magnus. Cool. Oh, no.